as long as I can remember, I've always sort of played football. My dad always likes to tell the story that they'd only get me to go on walks in the park and stuff if they kicked a ball in front of me and I'd just sort of toddle after it. And I always played in the playground with all my friends. Most of them were boys, so I played for my local boys team. And then when I was 15, 16, had trials at City and luckily got in and I suppose I've just taken the opportunities that I've had to progress through and eventually get to the first team. I think I always just played football for the pure fun of it. I just loved playing every opportunity I got and I was a Man City fan growing up so I looked up to any player that played for City really and I never really had any female role models because I wasn't too aware of women's football as I was growing up but I'd say once it got to the London 2012 Olympics I remember watching Steph Horton on the TV score a free kick at Wembley and from that moment on she was someone I really really looked up to as the England captain and she played for City as well and I really really admired her and she made it seem possible for me to have a career in the game because she was so successful and so it's quite crazy now for me to be playing alongside her when just a few years ago I was just watching her as a fan. I think as a Man City fan, getting to play for City is a hugely proud moment for me and my family because I always used to have City shirts with the names of men's players on the back and it's strange now that I have a City shirt with my own name on the back because I'm playing so it's a really special feeling and I know my family are really proud as well which is important to me. I was quite lucky really in that I played with the boys from when I was tiny all the way up till I was 15, 16 and my friends were always so encouraging, all the coaches I had were so encouraging to me and I never really struggled being a girl playing in the boys football. I'd maybe get the odd comment from people on other teams saying I didn't belong there and things like that but the way I overcame them was just playing my absolute best and trying to show them that I was more than capable of competing with them on the pitch and I gained a lot of respect in that sense. That's such a good question. Um, I think I'd just make it more accessible, which is where we're getting to it, uh, with it now, with all the television deals. And I think it's amazing that we've got the women's Euros in the UK next summer because we're bringing it so much closer to people. And hopefully it'll be an opportunity for loads of young girls to be able to go and see live matches for the first time or go and watch the heroes and hopefully be inspired because I think the more girls that participate, the better the standard is going to continue to be and therefore more people will want to watch it and it's just a continual cycle of growth that I think can be helped just by the game being more visible. I think when you see someone achieving what you dream of doing, it just makes it seem so, more, so much more realistic for you to be able to achieve it. I know, as I said, I didn't really have role models growing up and so I never really thought I could have a career in football, but when I became aware of people like Steph and Karen Bardsey and Jill Scott who had a career in the game and that was the way they made a living, it brought it home to me that it was a possibility and gave me something that I could pursue. So I think it just makes your dreams feel so much more achievable when you see someone else achieving it. I think it's going to be huge because it's an opportunity for young girls who are interested in football or just sports in general to go and see world-class at, world athletes at the top of their game in one of the most prestigious competitions in women's football. So hopefully it will bring it closer to home and allow people to be inspired by the talent that they see and want to take up football themselves. I'd say just go for it. I always played alongside the boys. I was the only girl around in school, in, in the local league who played. And I think just take whatever opportunities you get, play with your friends, just play for the enjoyment of it and see where it takes you. I never had aspirations to make a career out of it, but I just carried on enjoying my football and playing as much as I could and it's got me here. So I'd just say, enjoy it and see where the path takes you.